Merry Christmas. Good morning, everyone. It's our annual tradition, but I don't want to take all the credit for the introduction today because, as promised, I have a very special guest, someone who's taking the time out of the busy schedule to do a formal introduction for the first time on our show. So without further ado, the man himself, Santa Claus. Merry Christmas to all of the Have Faith family. Welcome to the annual Christmas tradition, the story of the candy cane. Here is your host, Angel Santana. Have faith? Let it begin. Merry Christmas, everyone, and welcome to the story of the candy cane. We'd just like to wish all of you a season's greetings, a happy holidays, and a Merry Christmas. And now, I ask that all of you make sure that you hold in your hands right at this very moment a candy cane. I hope all of you are prepared. And now, without further ado, we continue with our Half Faith Let It Begin tradition, the story of the candy cane. The candy cane was first introduced in the late 1880s by a candy maker in Indiana. He wanted to make a candy that would be a witness during the holiday season. He began with a stick of pure white to show the virgin birth and the sinless nature of Jesus Christ. The hardness of the candy cane was to represent Jesus as the solid rock the foundation of the church, and the firmness of the promise of God. The white stripes on the candy cane represents the purity of Christ. The small red stripes symbolizes the scourging of Jesus before he was hung on the cross. The large red stripes show the blood that Jesus shed for each of us on the cross. The shape of the candy cane represents the shepherd's staff because Jesus is the good shepherd. If you flip the candy cane around, hold it up, you will notice that the candy cane is the letter J, which is the first letter of Jesus. Have a Merry Christmas and always remember the reason for the season, and the candy cane. Have faith. Let it begin. Merry Christmas. Christmas.